EA is working on an open world Star Wars game. It's kind of just come out that they were recently working on one. Adam, would you want an open world Star Wars game? Or do you want even anything from EA at this point? Because everything... I mean, I would prefer that somebody else who's actually fucking good at making games would make it. But, um... Well, the one thing that I... I, I, It's all coming from a job listing that was recently published on EA's job site. And it reads, lead a team to develop online features for a Star Wars open world project. Uh, th- that That's pretty much it. But, I mean, they're looking for leaders on it. I like how they're just posting job listings. Like, yeah, come on. Come on, we need a leader for this team. Um, and this all kind of comes out of the woodwork of whenever they canceled the Visceral Studios one. Because Visceral yeah. Studios was working we, on a single player. was working on a single player Star Wars game. Uh, that they quote as, let me see what the actual, our Visceral Studio had been developing an action adventure set in the Star Wars universe. In its current form, it was shaping up to be a story-based linear adventure game. Uh, so, I, um, I'm i kind of... Uh, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not anti this concept, but... Uh, th- with the EA. Star Wars, well, that's one thing is you got EA handling it. Two, Star Wars is a very vast universe of, of characters. And um, am I going to be interested in the general concept of whatever they're trying to convey? Well, you, Maybe not. You and also, that not that it really matters to you, but all the games and stuff, I mean, it's kind of loose at this point. But all the games and books and the comics are all supposed to be developed as canon with mm-hmm. the movies. So, I mean, they don't have to actually interconnect with the films, but they have to be, like, approved by Disney as this yeah. story works. Yeah. So, it, it, I doubt it's going to, they're even, if you're, if you're going to develop a game where you can do whatever you want in it, and it's an open world, um, everything has to fall into this so-called canon that they work with. I do yeah. the air quotes on that because some of the books have had a lot of mess-ups where they don't coincide with the information that's given on the films yeah. and then presented in some comics. And they're, they're yeah. saying it's all canon, but unfortunately... They're not really doing a good job they're, of They're right that. now... It's not terrible. It's not like things are all over the place, but it feels like it's kind of becoming the Star Wars expanded universe, how it was, where it's like, yeah. it's not officially canon, but we just it's accept canon. it. It's canon, yeah. So I think that it's, it's interesting that EA is designed to do an open world one where unlike the battlefront 2 thing it was just kind of a very i watched the 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 scenes from it it was okay it it had its point it was super generic and very predictable but i was like okay but it was all kind of a tease to try to hint that the characters were going to be ray's parents because oh they're on jakku oh they have a daughter wink wink we all know that that's now at this point Spoiler alert is false that Ray's parents were pretty much complete trash people who sold her for alcohol money. And it's, I, I don't know. I, I My issue with this is I worry that this game sounds like it's going to be like a division where it's just not a lot to do yeah. in a big world because I, I, I... Yeah, that was the main, I mean, we... I don't know if you did, but I played the division a lot. Did yeah, we... I played it a lot yeah. with you, dude. I, yeah, I, okay. I, we, we, were, played... we were playing it together. I actually don't hate the division. It just got really Neither boring. Neither of us did. Yeah, it was just super repetitive. Like if they do two, I'm I'm all about it. Like I I I didn't hate it to the point where I was like I think, I'd never play a sequel. I think I'm a little more cautious than you. I'm not saying I wouldn't play a sequel, but they'd have to fix all the they'd have to fix the main issues of man. This is really just the same I mean, thing over and over. For again. me, the division takes the exact same place as destiny like i enjoyed my experience with it not enough to go back and have another experience with an almost identical concept okay um i'm gonna i enjoyed destiny more than the division mostly because i played all of my experience with destiny with you Mm -hmm. and when i try to play destiny by itself you'd always say hey uh, get this mission done whenever I come back because you are a much higher level than me. Yeah. And you'd say, hey, get this mission done and we'll go do this when I get back. And I struggled or I just wouldn't do it. Yeah. Because playing Destiny, Destiny by, by yourself, yourself is fucking boring. Yeah, I actually 
would play Destiny, or uh, so I'm sorry, The Division by itself and have a good time. But after a while, it just was like, oh man, I'm just doing the same fucking thing and just bullet sponge characters. Like, I yeah. liked the, like, diversity of it, like, with the weapons and, mm-hmm. and the shooting. Like, the game looked and sounded great. It's just that the gameplay was as shallow as a puddle. Yeah. It was just so weak. Um, so, I'm looking, I'm wondering if there's any other EA open world games i want to see like one of some of the other ones that they've done okay Oof. um <laughs> not the greatest track record right now what, what's on the list so we have anthem it hasn't come out yet so we don't have anything and, clue about. which is currently in development hell they're losing uh people working on that project yeah. left and right the last two need for speeds were um, open world my brother really enjoyed them I mean, I wouldn't say Dude, that. I, I, the, they, like, in my opinion, there really hasn't been a good open world Need for Speed game since, uh, I'd say, Carbon. And the best one was the original Most Wanted. But some people like the stuff that came afterwards. You know, it's just personal preference. Yeah, I I, well, they, I didn't play the Need for Speed, the Payback one. The other one, I, I heard that this, that was a complete mess when yeah, it came to I the microtransactions. That. The first one? No, no, no. The, the second one. The second one. Need yeah. for Speed with the redone version. Mm-hmm. Had, then that's had the problems one, with microtransactions. The, the, the one payback, like, ruined the whole experience. Like, there was almost no customization. All you had to do was do random car generations. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not terrible, but, I mean, they, they, they fuck some shit up. EA hasn't done really anything like open world for a long time. I, I mean, The other one they have is the Saboteur. Which is, oh. Do you sa- love that game? The Saboteur. Oh, you love that game? <laughs> yes, that game is amazing. Yeah? Yes. Is that a, Would you describe that as open world? Yeah, yeah, it is an open world game. I forgot about that. But that was also Pandemic Studios, which EA completely fucking liquidated. They oh, also, yeah. They also the did other Mercenaries, one that, Mercenaries, Mercenaries too. 2. Yeah. Which Mercenaries, I thought was fun. Um, Mercenaries 2, I was... I had fun with it, too, but... Uh, it, it seemed like it lost its luster whenever it went to the sequel. I, I don't know why. I, th- I thought the first Mercenaries was you're great. Not, you're not alone in that. Most people... Weren't happy like, with Mercenaries 2? They didn't hate it, but it, they're just like, oh, this is an okay follow-up. Well, if we also know what other games that Pandemic did, the original Battlefront games. Also excellent games. Those are excellent games. So, I... I look. Basically, it, I, I just want to say this. EA has a, an extremely long track record of making mediocre games. They've been doing it since the fucking Sega Genesis era. Mm-hmm. And anybody who says that they that EA makes good games is... I don't want to say that EA's never made a good game. No, they have. But what I'm saying is EA's made more shit games than probably any other company besides like old shit like LJN, stuff that doesn't exist anymore. Apparently, though, what they just did was they did that Way Out game. They're EA. publishing it. They're publishing it, that yes. That fucking crazy drunk is the one who made that game, and that's probably why it's going to be fun. <laughs> that guy, yeah, I forgot about that. Fuck the, this transaction bullshit. <laughs> that guy from the uh, Game Awards. Yeah. He was great. He was the most entertaining thing. Yeah, EA's pretty much just become... Oh, and I mean, EA did uh, Battlefront and Battlefield uh, 1. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They have they have franchise like Battlefield. They have a franchise Battlefield that does well. They have a couple other games that do well, but by and large, if you look at EA's category or, or uh, catalog of titles. games, it's sports games and like really shitty games. Yeah, you're not. I'm looking. I I just typed in EA recent games, and it's stuff like uh, Sims, sports titles, Need for Speed, Battlefront. And then, like, a random game called Fee, but then they also released Mass Effect Andromeda. Which and, was shit. Yeah. And then Titanfall 2, which... Uh, didn't is, do well. Didn't do well, but is supposedly a really good game. Yeah. So, EA... I'm I, talking about, lo- like, larger scale than that. If you go back to the beginning of EA, back to when I first started seeing Electronic Arts was in the Sega Genesis era, but they were making games before that. Most of their games are shit. <laughs> I mean, I know you don't. You are not a, not the biggest fan of EA. No. We are both not very big no. fans of EA. And 
I I, there I, are, there, I agree with you. There I, are EA games that I love. Yeah. Again, the Saboteur being one of them. But I, I agree with that. You should that like EA should not be handling the Star Wars license and properties. But look, I mean, if they do an open world game and they don't boggle it down with just complete microtransaction bullcrap throughout the whole thing, I'm fine with that. I don't care about microtransactions in games. I I care when it breaks the game. Yeah, when it affects the gameplay. Yeah, which I they did. I don't care in about my- cosmetic cosmetic microtransactions. Yeah, they're fucking like bullshit nickel and diming of your customers, but they don't affect your gameplay. Yeah, I I yeah, it just it, they gotta <clears throat> they gotta they gotta fix some shit. Um. Okay, Adam, we're going.